All right, guys, I'm very excited to be making this video for you. This is my 2023 Honda Civic Sport. So I've always wanted to do something with the rear of this car. It has a nice little lip built into the deck lid for the hatch already. However, it still just looks a little too bulbous, a little too much like an egg for me. You know, that's one thing I didn't really love about the old 8th Gen Civic Coupes is they had that very rounded rear end. So um, you're probably thinking that I'm gonna be installing an HPD spoiler, but I'm not today. I'm gonna be installing a different OEM part that has not been acquired in the States yet, from what I can tell from all the research I've done, so I wanna share that with you today. All right guys, so this first box in front here, this is actually an HPD spoiler. Here's the part number of the Sonic Gray uh, version of this, uh, American HPD spoiler. Got this from Majestic Honda for about 325 shipped. Uh, so I bought the HPD spoiler before I realized there was other options out there. Um, so I kind of changed my mind on it and I'm gonna be selling this. Part I will be installing on the car here today is this other OEM part number. Here you guys go. That is the part number made in Belgium. The other one is made in Taiwan, so that's a difference. But I ordered this and this isn't really seen online at all yet and there's no details about this because this is from Europe. I ordered this from the UK as this is a factory option in the UK and the rest of Europe to add to your car for the Civic EHEV hybrid that came out in 2023 over there. All they get over there in Europe is the automatic hybrid but they do get this sweet duckbill spoiler made by Honda. And luckily enough, that part number I just showed you on the screen down here is the part number for this spoiler painted in Sonic Gray. So the packaging was obviously much better than this. I've already taken everything apart to, to make sure everything was there and not damaged from shipping. But this came from Britain to New York in about three weeks after I purchased it, which isn't bad at all. The packaging was phenomenal. There was a box inside of a box inside of a box, and this thing was very very well packaged um, what's included so you have a duckbill spoiler here this is painted in sonic gray i'll leave the link in the description below because there's a bunch of different uh paint codes they offer this in and these are pre-painted you know honda parts so they're going to match pretty pretty spot on even though i got a little nervous that maybe the sonic gray over in europe was a different shade than the us but i've already put this up to my car and can guarantee that the paint code is identical and this matches and this is color matched very very well to my car so both the HPD spoiler and this duckbill spoiler are going to be paint matched um, they don't offer every color because the Europe market has different colors for the hatchback than the US if you have certain colors of the hatchback in the US there may not be a equivalent paint matched spoiler for you available from Europe so check out the link in the description that'll list all the colors available but they offer it in Berlina black which is the safe route to go, which will make it kind of look like the SI with a black duckbill spoiler on your trunk, or I should say your hatch, as opposed to a paint matched one. But I rolled the dice and I wanted to get a paint matched one because I thought it'd look a lot cleaner in the car. So overall, there's a lot less parts total included in this whole thing. Uh, you have the spoiler itself, which I'll show in more detail here in a minute. And you also get new gas struts for the hatch, which is what is included with the HPD spoiler as well. However, the HBD spoiler adds steel brackets and a bunch of other stuff to fit that wing to the trunk. You have to drill six very large holes through the hatch to mount the uh, bracket with the screws and whatnot. So you add a lot of weight to the hatch, or I should say not a lot, but maybe considerably more weight to the hatch with the HBD spoiler than this, this plastic duckbill spoiler. So uh, I don't plan to install these. I think that that's, I can't imagine there's a difference lifting the hatch when just adding this plastic duckbill i mean it's it's almost feather light here there's nothing to it so i don't know why you'd want to switch out your gas shocks i will keep these as spares just in case mine wear out in five years or whatever so that'd be cool um the only other parts you get with this here is a template you get one template for one side and i assume that you flip it over to use it on the other side but you'll see here here's the part number for the template they give you an arrow pointing to the front of the vehicle, outside of the vehicle, marks to a line. And then they're saying to drill two diameter two millimeter holes in these center points right here. So what that is for, I'll describe in a second, but I'm still not 100% sure if I'm going to drill into my hatch or not. If you've all seen my recent videos, I had a leaking hatch issue when I bought the car. So I'm kind of worried that 
adding any holes to the hatch will have the dealer, if I have any leaks in the future, can try to blame it on something I installed as opposed to just a defect in the window or whatever it may be. So you get these four clips that are going to be installed into these holes. But what doesn't make sense to me is you say to drill two, two diameter, uh, two millimeter diameter holes here. These are the clips that go down in that hole. And you can tell they're a lot bigger than two millimeter diameter. So I have a feeling that that two millimeter call out on the template is just for a pilot hole. But the other thing is there's no instructions in this box at all. And there's nothing I can find online for documentation of how to install this. So um, I believe that two millimeter hole is your pilot hole. And then you're gonna wanna drill out the trunk to this diameter up here, which I'll hit with calipers in a second. Um, and then this will clip in. And then there's a small hole in the middle which the design intent is these plastic spiked rods will go down and clip into those four pins and keep the spoiler down and there's additional uh, double-sided tape over everything. So um, I'm on the fence here of if I'm going to install it with actually drilling holes in the trunk or if I want to just dremel off those, those studs and just use the double-sided tape so I don't actually have to add any holes to the hatch to install this, but I'll get into that more in a minute. Uh, the only other thing you get in the box is this cleaning towel. I believe it's just an alcohol soaked pad to prep the surface for the double sided tape. But yeah, all in all, you get a lot more components and stuff for your money with the HPD spoiler. If you get this part shipped to the US, it's going to cost a little less than double the HPD. So keep that in mind. You guys might think it's a little bit ridiculous to pay that much for a duck bill, but I really wanted to bring this content to you guys and do something different with this car. So the diameter of this clip for the part that has to drop down into the hatch is about 0.4455 of an inch. So that is about 10 thousandths larger than a 7 16 drill bit. So I'd say if you want to install this the OEM way, you're going to want to do a pilot drill and then your final size to 7 16 and this plastic I would assume is flexible enough to push down in that hole even though it's going to be about 10 thousandths undersized and, um, and lock in there without a problem. So here's a detailed look on how this is intended to be installed on the car. You have some pretty thick sections of double sided tape that take it all the way to the edge of the hatch over here. And then a nice up close look at this shows that you have two plastic studs that have these ridges on them that will click down into the, the clips if you install them in your hatch. And they have, you know, a lot of compliance to them to bend side to side. They don't translate at all, but they have this rubber foam gasket that sticks up quite a bit um, that's going to compress down to almost nothing when you push these down. So if you do choose to cut these off and then dremel them flat, you're going to want to remove this gasket so that it's not putting pressure between the hatch and the spoiler to try to separate the double-sided tape if you decide to go that route. Coming across more to the center, it looks like almost three-quarter inch wide double-sided tape to the center. And you'll notice that the release liners for all of them have tabs that stick out, which is really nice. So you can put the spoiler on the hatch and then pull the, um, the tabs while pushing down the spoiler to adhere the, the tape to the spoiler. So that's a really nice design intent there. Um, coming across, it's symmetrical on both sides, of course. Here's the Made in Germany sticker, the Honda sticker, and the part number for this before it's painted. And then, same deal on this side. You have little studs and the same kind of double-sided tape all the way on this side. So, you know, install at your own risk, guys. Um, for deciding on what you want to do. I'm still not sure what I want to do. Kind of debating it as I'm thinking here. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you a look at how the template lines up on the hatch here. You basically, with this dotted line here, you contour the seal all the way around. I use some painter's tape to lay it flat. And you want to make sure this outer hatched edge aligns perfectly with the edge. This corner matches up with the corner on your deck lid. And then this edge rides all, all the way over nicely. The holes that land are, just to give you an idea, back here. And when you want to do it on the other side, 
you're just going to flip this upside down and you won't have any of the the text to show you what to do but it'll be pretty intuitive since you did the other side already so guys i've decided i'm actually going to go for it i'm going to drill the holes and do do it the way they intend to have this thing installed i'm pretty confident this is a well engineered uh, setup even though i say that and the 11th gen seems to have its quirks already but um, i'm going to go ahead and send the holes i'm going to do a pilot hole with a very small drill bit and then what i'm going to do is use this 7 16 roto cut kit to um center with this pilot bit in the small hole i drill first and that'll keep the 7 16 hole perfectly centered when i go down my second pass all right so marking the holes is rather easy to get like kind of a pilot hole because this this whole hatch is plastic keep that in mind so when you drill through this you're not gonna have to worry about rust or you know it's not even aluminum so you know it's gonna drill through really quick um i just use a little center punch but i didn't actually push it down and snap it i just push the tip of it just a little bit to make a little mark on there and uh, you know it's plastic so it compresses pretty easily and templates flipped up side down on this side now got it aligned perfect double check the corner on the bottom um, you know tra uh, tracing along the window seal here looking really really good using the smallest possible spot drill that I have I'm gonna go ahead and just make a spot drill on all four of the locations It's gonna be really unfortunate if like the UK hatch is a different overall design than this one and I find that out after I uh, drill these when I could have just cut the studs off and test fit it previously because you can't test fit the spoiler when uh, the studs are still on because it won't lay flat so I'm taking a gamble here but um, if I fail I'm gonna count on you guys to uh, get this video like 3 million views to get my money back. Next step up I'm gonna use a very very small drill bit this is like a 16th inch diameter, and I'm gonna just pop those holes through. All right, now we're gonna follow up with a 7 16 bit like I talked about earlier. What I did was I put some painters tape down just in case I missed because I'm pretty nervous about doing this and nick the paint at all. So you're gonna be drilling through the painters tape but I poked out what? where my center holes are here. What's that honey? All right, guys, the deed has been done. Remove the painter's tape now and see how the holes came out. Like I said, I'd recommend using a kit, just like the Rotocut kit, because your holes come out absolutely center. All right, guys, again, this is the part number for these clips, in case you lose one at all. Now, the hole, like I said, is about 10 thousandths undersized to this diameter. So let's see how hard it is to push in. Not too bad. Being the hole is plastic, you can force them in without a problem. The thing I wanted to point out, guys, is you don't have to have the holes absolutely perfect because once you get the clips and they drop in and they have a smaller diameter that goes through the thickness of the actual hatch, and you can see these translate in the hole probably a little less than an eighth of an inch each way back and forth up and down so when you put the spoiler on and you lock in the the studs you should be able to slide it around and fine tune where you want the location and then pull the double-sided sticky tape off to push it down in its final uh final position all right so next i'm going to take the supplied alcohol cleaning wipe i've already hit the trunk with a microfiber and some isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna do my final pass with this supplied towel from Honda here. It's just an alcohol soaked rag pretty much. You're gonna to wanna to make sure 
you get any surface contaminants off, any wax, any kind of stuff the dealer may have installed or kind of applied to the paint. All right, so one last safety precaution I, I did here to ensure that there's no water that gets into the hatch is I gooped some Honda Bond in there all around. Same thing with this side. Just gooped it in there, spun the clip around until it was nice and worked in. And then I also spread some on the bottom of these studs. So when these push down all the way, they um, seat nicely against the clip and seal the top of the clip. Same thing with the other side here, just for a peace of mind. Uh, this gasket will compress down to almost nothing, but uh, if there's the possibility that water gets past this gasket, this is just an extra fail safe to make sure it doesn't go into the hatch. All right, so here we go. This is the moment of truth. See how this thing fits on here. When you're putting this on here, make sure all your tabs, your double-sided tape, are sticking out. And then you go ahead and push down. Man, this is nerve-wracking. See how this lines up. So we'll go ahead now. Move our tape. That side push down. All right, guys, I'm super excited to call this one done. Uh, I was extremely nervous the whole time because I never had any confirmation online that the USDM hatch was the exact same dimensionally as the UK and the European hatch. But I'm glad to bring you this information that everything is identical, so this part fits absolutely perfect. And I could not be happier with how good it is color matched so just take a look i mean the color is absolutely perfect so if you guys have any hesitation to order a part from a different country that's the same color as yours but as long as it's made from honda it's the exact same paint code i am a super huge fan of this um, the only thing that i didn't expect was that they the the spoilers sit in a little more than i expected uh, as you can tell i i absolutely nailed the template there's no way that i screwed the template up at all but you'll notice there's the edge on each side is even here, but that uh, you know depth, the inset depth of the spoiler kind of carries around the whole rear of the hatch and then all the way to this side. So when you look at it from the side, it doesn't exactly perfectly line up. But if I cut the tabs off, like I was talking about earlier, and, and remove that gasket, I probably would have installed it further back. But I'm really glad I didn't, because if I did that, then everything else that's 3D modeled, you know, to be perfect on the plane with a double-sided tape, if you move this back another quarter inch or so to make these two surfaces flush, you'd be screwing up all the geometry of the way this is supposed to mate. So um, that is how the OEM piece is supposed to be. 
So take note on that if you're going to install this yourself. It's pretty much exactly even where the bend radius stops on the hatch. So I'll try to do like a little 360 here to show you how it looks, but I think it looks way better than any other aftermarket duckbill spoiler. Of course, you can't beat the, the quality when you go with OEM. It's paint matched. It doesn't look ricey at all. I think it's much more subtle than the HPD spoiler and unique of a look. Kind of is a really subtle, nice add-on to this car. And then another main plus is this won't block your uh, rear view vision at all. Maybe ever so slightly, this lip will be visible in your rear view mirror, but the HPD spoiler sits up, you know, considerably higher than this. It sits over the wiper, so the HPD spoiler will block a lot of your rear view mirror, and the hatch, the way the hatch is designed it already, reduces a lot of your visibility with these th thick corners on each side. But let's take a look if I pop the hatch. This is what I'm talking about, the thick corners. So this. The rear view um, area through your rear view mirror is pretty narrow on the hatch compared to my what I'm used to in my old 8th gen sedan. But as you'll just notice, I lifted the hatch with the stock struts in there and there's absolutely no problems with the added weight. I'm probably talking less than a pound total to add this whole lip onto the, uh, the hatch. So opening it up makes no difference. It's kind of cool to have two spare gas shocks for if these ever fail many years down the road, I'll have those ready to go. But super happy with how this came out. Like I said, where I ordered this spoiler from, the link is in the description below. Uh, they have them in all different colors, like I mentioned. But if you're gonna go for the safe route, if you're worried about the paint match at all, go with the Berlina black one. However, um, in my case, if you go with Sonic Ray, you can uh, be rest assured that it will it will match your car absolutely perfect. Here's a look further away just to get you guys a whole side profile of the car. Very, very nice. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you thought, if this video was helpful. Hopefully, uh, you guys can be rest assured that this will help some of you guys out to find a different option than buying the cheap eBay or Spoiler King plastic molded ones that you just attach with sticky tape so this is the oem option which they offered it in the states but um not too big a deal to order it through the website i have linked below thanks guys i'll see you in the next one